Did a pretty good job of evading that. First wave of players tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And now back out comes the offense. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. Christian Covington able to collapse the pocket and drop him for a loss of a yard. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Blue 58! Now a play fake, Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven. Seven yard line. So they bring out their punter. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change yeah, the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. Here's Hines. And he stopped immediately there. Officially, no gain. on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. But he will be stopped behind the line as he will not. Come close to the marker. 
And now out comes Houston. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Yeah, let me puff out my chest a little bit, even though I'm not rooting for either team. That was a really nice defensive play. It's awfully fun to watch, even in an offensive game. Watson. And that's incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively, because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. On third down, Watson. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Partner to win. This offense has marched up and down the field during this game. It's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? Yeah, they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. This is taken at the 18. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. A lot of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A first throw here for the backup, Taylor. Looking deep downfield. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Again, now it's Taylor on second and 10. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Z, 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 Z. On first down, it's Taylor. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Z, 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 Z. On first and 10, it's Taylor. Street's got it, complete. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. Steps away to his left. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. A wise move there, looked like nobody open. Now second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Denzel Perryman there to bring him down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, Taylor. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. 
He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense. Right now, but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Watson now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. Rolling to his right. Under pressure now, Watson, and down he goes. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Watson now on second down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. He'll get a couple yards on that one. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to bring up the fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've you described it. And he's gonna go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Geno Atkins in there. Sack number 85 of his great career, moving him past Hall of Famer Howie Long on the all-time list. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now it's Taylor. Buying time to his left. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Ready, back, or two. 
They go play action with Taylor. Going to throw right side here, complete. He's at the 40, the 20. Touchdown! A big play there, 85 yards. And his guys are an extra point away from tying this thing up. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Extra point safely through, and that will tie our game here in the third. So all square here in this third quarter as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. Oh, he bowls over it. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now out comes Houston. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with him putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They'll up losing 11 on the play and it'll make this a second and long the first down play to be frank nothing short of awful and now they have to deal with second and very long right. to throw on second is watson and this is Ertz with it right side the reception good for seven it's third down He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -to, -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. It'll be a gain of four, and that's going to make it fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses, it's understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. You got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. An excellent return that time, 26 yards. Now this offense about ready to take over again. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that in this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep beating the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back live to Orlando. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Ready! 
Play action. Now Taylor. Oh, well, he's got a man wide open, complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. That goes for a gain of 31. And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. Well, now they'll try the end around. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Oh, a design run for their wide out. And it spins away. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. And facing a very tough third and 19 here after both of those running plays went backwards. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Give him 19 on the play, but they will still come up a bit short. And now it's fourth down. He can run for it, and he will. So give him the first down, first and goal after a pickup of four, and the decision to go for it pays off. Well, they won't get the touchdown, but they'll get the next best thing as they're able to convert on fourth down and they'll be left with a first and goal at the one-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Taylor. And it's caught. Touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and his guys are going to take the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now for the point after. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team, as you just noted, on the road. So that means that DeAndre Hopkins, he's all alone. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, his second touchdown of the afternoon.
food. And the Texans are an extra point away from tying this football game. And now a critical extra point attempt here. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. This fielded at the two. He spins free. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Taylor on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, here's Taylor. On the left side, it's complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They give them a gain of 37. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Taylor to throw. That's complete right around the eight. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Taylor will throw again. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Here's Taylor. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. And no movement for the field goal unit to break this tie. They're going to go for this thing. Fourth and goal. Here we go. Z, Z, Z. 
They'll try and throw for it with Taylor. And it's caught. Touchdown. In for the score. And his guys are going to take the lead. Fourth and goal, and they found a way to throw it in the end zone for a touchdown. And these defenses, they just like three downs, get off the field. But here they had to go four, couldn't get it done. A lot of the time, you're looking up and saying, OK, if I hold them for three, at worst, I give up a field goal attempt. When they go for it, sometimes it really affects the defense because maybe they're not mentally prepared to go that fourth down. Extra point right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And now out comes Houston. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, well See if it's that easy here. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Here's Watson. Left side, that's caught by Mitchell. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To the air yet again, Watson. And this is going to be incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the leg's still there. This has been a tough game. And here now the offense heading back out there. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays, they're going to gain. And he can't find any and he goes down. Christian Covington. In there to sack him for a loss of six. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. But he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 22-yard line. It's a big play there on third down. 53.
yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. down with Taylor and he will find his man on the outside and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 time for a break back to wrap up the AFC championship game after this So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Slow, slow, slow. Throwing on first down, Taylor, and he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. Oh, Taylor going to throw. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but... I'm looking at your face, and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead now up to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm. A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. To throw is Watson. It's caught. It's Miller. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. On second down, here's Watson. Wide open receiver complete. 20. Give him 30 yards there. First down now, but that clock rolling. the red zone now. Watson. He's going to let it fly. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Down. Who Who Off of play action it's Watson. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Pass interference. Defense. 
So the pass incomplete in the end zone, but contact and pass interference. And now where does the ball get placed? At the one-yard line. One-yard line. They gave up excellent real estate on that one. That's going to work really, really well for the guys who throw it. Watson looks to throw again. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. And the crowd on its feet and understandably so they are Super Bowl bound after taking that knee. How about the ability to celebrate not just winning a championship, but to do it with your fans on your home field? What a great collaboration for them all year long. And on now is the punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. Deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And the fair catch is made. It's going to pin him back here at the seven yard line. And the AFC champion has been crowned onto the Super Bowl. There cannot be a better feeling than this. It's almost indescribable. And when we talk to players from the past, a lot of them mention getting to the Super Bowl, winning a conference championship, even before they talk about the Super Bowl itself. All that hard work to get to your goal. Incredible. And that'll close the books on the conference championship for Charles Davis, myself, Brandon Gordon, and our entire crew. We'll talk to you in two weeks from the Super Bowl.